All right, I'm going to show you a top secret Excel function that can be used to calculate age since it's not as easy as you'd think in Excel. So I entered a birth date here, in this case it's Harry Potter's, and I got today's date using the today function. So what we could try to do is just subtract the years, so something like year for today minus the year for Harry Potter's birthday. And we get 42, but that's actually incorrect because it's not July 31st yet. So technically, Harry is only 41 years old. So we could jump through hoops and write some if statements to take the month and the day into consideration. But we can just use the secret date diff function instead. So let's write date. And you'll notice that you're not getting it in the list here, again, because it's top secret. But when I type diff and open parentheses, now Excel at least admitted that it exists. Now, again, it's top secret, so we don't get any IntelliSense for the arguments here. But all you need is a start date, an end date, and then to specify the units. In this case, we want the number of years between the dates. Close the function, press enter, and there we go. Harry would be 41 years old now. All right, now let's try my dad's birthday here. It's December 5th, 1968. And it looks like he is 53 years old. So there you go. That's how you use Excel's top secret date diff function.